family came to America when I was 12 years old. Kids in middle school weren't exactly nice. It was rough. Being able to play the violin in the schools gave me an outlet. I didn't always know that I was going to teach. I went to school in Vienna for two years, and of course, like every young, naive musician in their teens and early 20s, you have this dream that you're going to one day become a soloist, even though you have no clue what that means. And as grateful as I was for the opportunity to be in a very rigid environment where I had to practice eight to ten hours a day, I also learned that wasn't what made my life fulfilling. I'm going to play four of them and then I want you to play four of them. I'm going to trick you so you have to pay attention. Here we go. A lot of the times when I'm teaching these kids or when I'm working with these kids, I always see just just how wonderful and how beautiful these kids are and 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 sometimes when I see that they're scared and when I see them panic or or when I see that they're insecure it, it always takes me back to the time when I was 12 and I want to be a positive influence for these kids um, in times of need the way that I wish somebody was there for me <laughs> so that those are the moments that i live for to be able to really encourage a child to be the best that they can be we want to teach children kindness and compassion and how to fall in love with um, music. <laughs> <laughs>